genuinely a pleasure to welcome Foreign Secretary Cameron here to the State Department, to Washington. Uh, uh, we stand with you in supporting Israel and its right to defend itself and to make sure that they deal with the murderous terrorist sect that is Hamas that did those appalling uh, things on October the 7th, while at the same time stressing the importance of obeying international humanitarian law and trying to minimize civilian casualties. I very much agree with what you said about the hostage situation. There's no justification for taking and holding hostages in this way. They should all be released, and it's important that those hostages are given access to, or the ICRC is given access to them uh, in the meantime. We have to start not only providing the aid that is necessary for people in Gaza, possibly using maritime routes as well as land-based routes if that is necessary, but also thinking about the future after this military operation is over. And we discussed in our meeting how that's about how we build up and revitalize the Palestinian Authority. It's about how we stand up a plan for what happens after this operation is over and how we map out a future to a secure future for both Israel and for the Palestinian people. And we're committed to working together and with others to get that done. Thank you. Without further ado, let me ask to the stage David Cameron. Thank you. I stood in Kibbutz Berry and saw what had happened. Children massacred in front of their parents. Parents murdered in front of their children. And we're right to support Israel as they try and deal with the Hamas terrorist threat. And people who call for sort of an immediate and permanent ceasefire do need to understand that if you stop now with Hamas still in charge of even a part of Gaza, there can never be a two-state solution. So I think it's important we support Israel while at the same time arguing about the importance of international humanitarian law, the importance of reducing civilian casualties. And we will make those points over and over again. The D bit of FCDO, the development part, is going to be every bit as important. And it's the same in America. We're going to have to try and work out how to build up the Palestinian Authority and revitalize it. We're going to have to work out how to engage uh, the Arab states, how to try and rebuild uh, what the Palestinians have and what they need. And to people who say, well, this development bit, it's a rather soft bit of your foreign policy or your security policy, and really the issue is China, I would just make this point, that we need Britain and America and the countries that believe in democracy and freedom, we need to offer other countries an alternative to China. Do you still believe that a two-state solution is possible between the Israelis and Palestinians? I, I do. I mean, I think, you know, when you go to Israel today and talk to people about it, it feels a long way off because, you know, this is a nation in trauma. Israel on the 8th of October is a different country to what it was on the 6th of October. It is a nation in shock, so it feels a long way off. But ultimately, if you're a friend of Israel, and I am, long-term security for Israel means not only being strong, not only having... Uh, strong defenses. It means finding a way where your Palestinian neighbors are also living in peace and security and dignity. And ultimately, that must mean a two-state solution. Getting there from where we are now is incredibly hard, but we have to plan. We have to start thinking what happens on day one after this Israeli operation has finished. Does Prime Minister Netanyahu still believe in a two-state solution? Well, you'd have to ask him that question. Um, see, I haven't forgotten all the political um, uh, answers that you have to give. Um, look, I, I will... I, I think the answer there is it is in Israel's long-term security interests. And so friends of Israel have to persuade them of that fact. And then I think judge them by whether the actions they take make it in the long term more likely or less likely. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you.